Okay guys and welcome back again. Um, obviously we only had Tom in our group that time, but we're going to ask this guy the question that we were going to ask in the last video. I know, I know, you came to ask me about something, right? It's about the promised land. Promised land? So what do you want to know? There's no one, there's no one place called the promised land, that's what I believe. No, no, it doesn't exist. Hmm. You can say that? In other words, it doesn't exist for us, but it did for the ancients. The promised land is rest, is the resting place of the ancients. A life of the ancients is a continuous journey. A journey to grow trees and planets, raise animals and make macro energy. Their harsh journey continued throughout their lives. The place they return to after their long journey, their brutal burial land is the promised land. Huh? Supreme happiness. I believe that. For the ancients, it was the moment that were, they were able to return to their planet. The moment they that they were released from the fate, their fate, and gained their supreme happiness. At least that's what I believe. I don't really know whether or not it's true. By the way, those that came with you are at the Cosmo Candle. Are you leaving? Right. So we're gonna have another story, I think, again. This will be a long talking bit, so that's why I decided to uh, finish the last video. And this will probably be this video will probably be that talking bit. And then I can then sort it out whatever next. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday when we saved the planet from Shimra that we'd go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all we all hate the Shimra, but is it right to go on? Will they will they a even ever forgive me? Right now I don't really know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever, I don't care. Urgh, I'm gonna do it. Again, again, Avalanche born again. Can't bloody remember. I learnt a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Setra and the Promised Land. I'm all alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm, we're here for you, right? I know, I know, but I, I am only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? Owen, bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, in five years ago, it's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like it feels like you're going far away. You're really, you really are. You're. You really, really are you, right? Long ago, when I was still a very small, still very small, we were 
all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy, and that's fine. But when I think of my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left your mother for dead. My mother for dead. When the Guild tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nakaki, there's something you should see. This place may be dangerous. I mean, will you and, and the one other person come with us? Of course, it's going to be Tom, isn't it? Right, I think this is the bit where it's actually quite long, so hopefully... This video won't be too long. Well, it will, it will be more talking than really action-based, because if I get into a battle, then I have to finish off it in the video. Ho ho ho. Are we set? Um Yeah, why not? Shall we go? Alright, come in, come in. Okay, you lead the way, grandpa. What are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. <laughs> you got told. You got told. I think there's a boss battle on this. I think it'd be all right. Should be all right. In fact, no, no, it's not going to be all right. I'm going to need to actually go and get some stuff. Oh, damn, I can't actually afford anything, can I? What is it? You're going back? I'll be waiting for you here when you're ready. I can't leave this door open forever. Right. I'm going to get prepared and then I think what I'll do, I'll then... We'll... S I've only got two gill and I need at least a tent to cure them all to full health. Yeah, I don't want to actually look at that. Thank you. I had to do something. Oh, damn it. Diamond pin. need I need items not bloody anything else <laughs> I don't 
don't think I've got any, have I? No. Oh, actually, th th this is actually working out pretty good, actually, because it means that I'm doing what I had to do anyway. Idiot. <sighs> I'll just have to continue. I have to save it here, and if I then no, I don't want to do that. And if I die, I can then come back and redo it. It won't be an issue. Good thing, shall we proceed? Yeah, fuck it, let's go. Oh, look at Barrett, look at Tom's new gun. And my new weapon actually looks pretty cool too. I prefer these guns than the really ones that you whack that you hit them with. This is a strange looking rock. Break it open. Uh oh. I thought it was actually a decent enemy. God. Keep getting the bloody battles. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to get to the, the the before I get to the next bit, and now I'm going to end the video um, because I think it'll be a good place to stop. As we're going to find out what what exactly is in this place and why it was sealed by off by um, Grey Fox's grandfather. You know what secrets are in here? What was the reason why it was sealed off? Were they reasons that? Um, 
would were right, or did he hide them for another reason? Well, I'm gonna probably reveal that in the next video. Well, I will be revealing that in the next video. the next bit then right so we're going to continue for, for now anyway Man, this bit is actually pretty hard. Okay, so I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, and when we um, come back, we will continue. Um, through this cave and see where it leads so I'm going to thank you all for watching and um, this probably will be my last video until maybe after I've moved I'm not quite sure what's happening yet um, I might do one tomorrow night I have to see um, but um, I hope you enjoy it please keep watching my videos um, I won't be away for long if I do have this today as my last time recording um, I want to try and get to you know 30 videos which I thought is good place to stop, bit of a cliffhanger you know, you guys were wondering well, what's going to happen next? well, you're going to find out in the next video so about, you know, the secret of this cave and what exactly was um, Grey Fox's father a coward? because it sounds like he's been grown up to feel that he had that his father was a coward was he really a coward or was he a hero? did he really abandon um, the, well, his original name, Red Thirteen, as you first meet him on Nakaki or whatever his name is. But Red Thirteen, did he really abandon his mother to die? Did he really leave Cosmo Canyon to the fate of, um, you know, of being attacked? Well, we'll find out next time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.